better get your sports straight. You better get you better get your sports straight. Look it up. Google it, fool. Google it. Welcome back to a new video. We are out here today. Today is Monday. So you already know what that means. It's another Monday madness. Don't hate the player, hate the game. Yo, don't hate the player, hate the game. Today, I'm gonna calm down on, this is gonna be the last Monday madness for a while because I feel I'm just repetitive repeating myself and making the same video all the time out here. And it's fun doing this stuff. I have lots of fun doing this, but I feel that I'm just keep on doing the same thing over and over and over. And it feels like Groundhog's Day out here in the shop. But today, we're gonna be making t-shirts. And uh, I have a whole bunch of heat transfer vinyl that I need to actually go through and figure out what is going on in here because it's a complete mess. Ow. It's a complete mess. I have a bunch of cool vinyl, and I'm looking for a right color. I'm looking for the color red, but we have this roll of red, but I don't, I don't know if it will work because it's been in here for such a long time. It's starting to delaminate from the backing. So, and this red right here kind of, I don't even, I don't know if I got my money back on it or what. So I remember trying to use this red for something a while back. And look at it, it's just rolled up like a scroll. You can't really unroll it and have it. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's been around, it's been around in there too long. Years and years ago, we have, we had, I had, I made a couple of, I just, I don't know why I like it. Red color. On like a navy blue for some reason i don't know what it is i'm attracted to it for some reason it looks cool so a while back i need to remake them i'm remaking everything that i used to do just to get back in the groove of things i used to screen print but i don't do that no more uh, i don't even want to talk about it so if you're not subscribed go back to the video where i talk about why i quit screen printing and went back to the old ways of doing things so that's not the point of this so the point is i like the red color on the navy blue and I have a navy blue shirt and we're doing a red Tacoma Thrasher on the navy blue shirt and I w wish I had a navy blue hoodie because I don't know why the red just pops on navy blue for some reason that red and red that looks pretty red to me this scroll this red and this red this is a sheet of red so we got to figure out what size this is so I can get the right size on my computer so it cuts out the right size on the vinyl cutter. Be 12, yep. If I get this all the way lined up to one, and that's 12 by 10. Trying to make a, a collection, I guess. I want to be wearing what I sell online at all times. So if I'm skating, going to the gym, you can't skate today, it's super nice out, dry drier than dry could be but it's windy it's so windy outside right now it's blowing at least 25 30 miles an hour winds hoping that we lost power just for a second i'm hoping we power stays on long enough to uh get this t-shirt made so 12 and a half by 10 so we can make our no not 12 and a half 12 by 10 12 by 10 Let's get this thing going. Tacoma Thrasher. See, we have the Tacoma Thrasher, Tacoma Goat. What else did I make yesterday? I, I made a whole video about all this already, but I didn't like my cadence and everything just wasn't working out right and I accidentally grabbed. I had a whole roll of white vinyl. I thought it was white vinyl, but it was a whole roll of white puff vinyl. So. The work shirt that I was making for myself that says Forever Crusaders, custom t-shirt graphics and all that stuff, streetwear, it's, it was a super sick graphic. I cut it out on white. I thought it was this, this is that HTV font thick vinyl. It feels like Plastisol ink. Think that, you know, the heat transfer vinyl, yeah, from the early, back in the day, it wasn't that good. 
and if you do go buy the stuff from the hobby stores yeah sometimes that stuff falls off after a while but what I said before and I'll say it again if you press it twice it feels super nice and you got to just use real good high quality heat transfer vinyl to uh, get and do graphics with so I think the only difference between this and screen printing is there's ink involved and I feel the way that this compares to screen printing is cutting it out and weeding it out is almost the same steps as if you're going to be burning a screen and the reason why I like getting the sheets other than the rolls of vinyl I don't mind the rolls of vinyl it just depends on the brand of the roll of vinyl that you get because the stuff like this Hobby Lobby stuff works good sometimes like this is good but the difference between I showed my girlfriend yesterday how thick this HTV font stuff is compared to the this stuff that I got from Hobby Lobby there's certain ways of doing it to make it feel like a screen printed garment and what I said you got to press it twice to make it you, you got to give it a little more pressure than it says I don't know what it what it is about that but that's the way I figured it out and that's the way that works for me what we do out here is I use the computer obviously but because I don't trust where you hit this button this is just me because it happened to me a couple of times I boosted up to like 10 because it's the HTV font look it up Google it figure it out it's the best and you want to do two passes with this stuff because it's just so good it's so thick and so good it does not crack and that's the thing that people I feel I don't know about these days but back in the day I know they looked oh you do graphics for teachers but yeah I, I used it the heat transfer vinyl and you know nowadays it doesn't matter I feel what you use it's just you want quality items coming out of your shop and if you don't have quality items coming out of your shop that's not you know if you have people calling you I never had one call back on anything that I've made before ever except for one time this lady she didn't read the description of what I was selling and then she wanted her money back but I didn't give her money back because it was her problem not mine and I made these super custom t-shirts for this one guy I used to work at Costco a long long time ago and I've been doing this for a long time but I made these super custom t-shirts for this guy that military based custom t-shirts and I think he didn't ask his wife before he bought the tees for me he, I, he just, you know, put the money down. I did the t-shirts. He gave me the rest of the money. And then his wife found out that he spent this money. And he was trying to get the money back for the cut the t-shirts. They're two cut they were custom made for you. It wasn't like it wasn't this. It wasn't making a Tacoma Thrasher t-shirt in bulk and just selling them like I did back in the day. That's different. I make a whole bunch of t-shirts, sit on them, or a bunch of plastic heat transfers and sit on them, and when the orders come on, make them. That's different than doing a custom t-shirt for somebody that says their name on it or their birthday on it or something like that. You're not going to get your money back on that. Anyways, you're not going to get your money back on the t-shirts that I made anyway. If I if you bought if you bought them, you bought and if you're un if you get the whatever you call it, the buyer's remorse, it's not my fault. It's yours. You should have thought, you know, if you think long, you think wrong. So, you know, if you if you know what that means, you know what that means. Look how thick this vinyl is. See what I'm saying? It's so good. I don't know. The graphic on my shirt is made out of this vinyl. It just feels... It doesn't feel... Even though this this looks... I got the biggest t-shirt from 2004. You know, I, got, I grabbed a 2X of this one style. It's almost like a pro club, but better... I, I forget what, what they're called top to bottom t-shirts and then I think the only place that I can find them is the B&I and, and it's so crazy that you can't find the B&I is like a swap meet around where um, I live it's like an indoor swap meet and they sell blank clothing and I just like super heavy weight thick t-shirts for skating and doing things in and everything if you fall down it's not gonna rip on you and it's not gonna shrink up on you but this the the white one fits different than the black ones I guess and 
this says Crusader skateboards like in graffiti style lettering and it, it this vinyl right here just it feels so good I'm just saying there's no reason to get headaches over trying to make screens anymore and that's the thing that was my my problem I was out here trying to make screens for these same graphics and it just wasn't working out the right way that it used to work out a long time ago I wish there was a way that you could feel it it it's so thick it's like ink it's the best stuff I feel like it's the best stuff made it uh, it feels exactly I don't know this feels thick like plastic salt ink so make t-shirts how you want to make t-shirts I'm just showing you the way that I do it now going back the way that I used to do it doing it the same way that I used to so again if it's not broken don't fix it it feels exactly I don't know this feels thick like plastic salt ink so make t-shirts how you want to make t-shirts I'm just showing you the way that I do it now going back the way that I used to do it doing it the same way that I used to so again if it's not broken don't fix it navy blue t-shirt it looks black but it's blue and this one is a doctor doctor dream USA 2XL I don't know why I got 2XL's but I was thinking I don't know it just it looks I usually wear extra large but the reason why I got 2XL is just because if it shrank on me even though it says it's pre-shrunk stuff it's 100% cotton I don't even know if it's pre-shrunk but I'll, I have to wash and dry this one the one that I'm wearing because it's super oversized for a 2X the 2XL and these ones I was wearing earlier at the gym and it fit okay it didn't look so big as this white one that I'm wearing right now and make sure that we got everything on point so the reason why I say make sure everything is on point you get you a little ruler and then when you got a little ruler you just want to make sure this is 2x so we're going to start at 4 at right here on the end of the board of the thing and make sure that we stretch it out and that is 4 on the dot on the money so yeah 4 3 and a half is about extra large 3 inches is about large and when it becomes mediums and smalls, it's ba it's a basic eyeball look. But double X, see that's boom. You just want to pull it. That's what I. When you're having people help you, make sure that they line up the shirts the exact same way you do it. Because when I line up shirts, I pull it and make sure. Okay, boom, the seam's at four. Some people just go like this. Oh, it's not at four. But make sure you want to pull it. Bam. Okay. This seems at four. That's four right there. Pretty much at four right there. Bam, if it's just a centimeter, slightly centimeter off, uh, we'll go back to, if you can't see it from the galloping horse, don't worry about it. You get all the moisture out the t-shirt. Make sure you got everything. Use a little brush or something to get all the dust off before you want to press it. And the way that I have this lined up is I, I square it up with the neck tag in the back. And then you just want to do a pre-press. 10, 15 seconds, this depends on what you think is necessary for your pre-pressing situation. Boom, steam's supposed to come out. That's what's supposed to happen. You didn't catch your t-shirt on fire. That's just the moisture in the shirt. We're gonna center it up with the O, because I feel that's pretty pretty centered and then you want to make sure it's about three inches four inches down from the collar and you get one of these if I'm doing a big if I'm doing more than a bunch of t-shirts I usually don't film or I film I just you know do a little 360 of a spin and I do this not er not every t-shirt but if I do it every t-shirt I just do it real quick but right now this is for tutorial purposes and making sure that you get your graphic lined up the correct way and let you know that this is the way it's going down so I Tacoma the O is center and that's pretty much you know three and a half four inches down from the collar and guess what we're in there three and a half 
inches down from the collar of the neck of the t-shirt and then if you really want to make sure that your thing is really straight and you're like ah oh, I just want a second guess I just don't know I just don't know get yourself a straight edge straight whatever you feel me this is a ruler straight edge you just want to pla blast that up and then then you can really see if your graphic is straight on there now we have it on lockdown we're talking about the graphics locked, ready to load, let it ready to drop this. You're ready to put it on there. You're hyped. Yeah, dude, we're doing this. We're going to let everybody know what we are. But if you really want to know who we are and how we stand, make sure that your thing is really, really straight. You want to do one of these and you want to stand back. You want to stand back and look like, okay, from this far away, it doesn't look that bad. So then you just want to do this. You can press it without the Teflon Dawn, but I like putting the Teflon sheet on here. That is just me. And then for hoodies and different type of garments with zippers or buttons or anything, you want to get a heat transfer pillow. And you can use that pillow for anything on uh, you know if you want to do the DTF the plastol heat transfers this depends on the material that you are pressing on and we're pressing on a regular old t-shirt so we don't need that I just do this and then you want to hit this off and I do that medium to hard pressure where it's almost it's hard to get down but it's not hard to get down and that's when you know it's locked and loaded oh you see that I hope we have enough the wind don't knock the power out so we can get this done and I believe this is a hot peel could be wrong but we'll see right here hot peel means you want to peel it right off of there just like so and then what I do to make it oh that looks so cool so what I do to give it that look you can put anything on here I was watching somebody put canvas like a, like I have butcher paper right here that I got to use see I don't normally just all it just depends on what the feeling you want to get so that's you can get all types of different feelings off of this you can have the shiny look the matte look I just want the oh man that could be heat transfer but it could also be screen printed look and that's when you like I said you hit it twice to make it feel nice and then you tell them that why do, why do you do it twice and you tell them that's just what I do boom look at that look at that that's super cool see no ink no mess yeah maybe the weeding out mess but you have a garbage can this is so, I'm so excited for this one this looks so good even though that I, I made it a little bit smaller than I normally do because that's the only size of paper that uh, thing that I have but look how cool that looks you cannot knock it until you try it and I've done it all so I just like the way that looks on Man, that feels so cool that's never gonna come off because this is when you know it's not gonna come off is when you can see I don't know if the lights picking it up or not but you can see the fibers of the t-shirt inside the graphic do you see do you see what I'm seeing I don't know if you can see that but that that goes magnificently super cool that's on www.forevercrusaders.com if you want to be a Tacoma Thrasher that's where you go and get them www.forevercrusaders.com Calm. We're out here every Monday and Friday, sometimes Wednesdays, and sometimes I put up shorts every day that I don't put up a real video. So subscribe. I double dog dare you.